What is going on, everybody? And um, welcome back to the CUFO News Channel. You join me as Carlisle have just took the long trip down to Lincoln and came away with a very good point for sure. Um, just a few things before we get into the game. It was Callum Guy's 150th appearance in the Carlisle United chair today, which is unbelievable. Um, great servant to the club, Callum, there. And maybe some news that isn't as good is Josh Kayode is out with a shoulder injury for up to 12 weeks and beyond so it could be a longer than 12 weeks but the minute he's penciled in for about 12 weeks three months off takes him till about december january so that's just wonderful isn't it that's just great it's what you want from a, a season long loan player um, really unlucky because he looked really lively in the couple of games he's played for us so far but he's injured with a shoulder injury so into the game then Cali Knight started really well in that first half we had a really good first half I thought um, the team was um, unchanged apart from one change which was Luke Plange coming in for um, Coyote which is obviously because he was injured um, but it was, I thought it was a really really good half from Cali I thought it was a half where we're showing that you know we're not we're not here to make up the numbers we're here to you know compete in this division and it was really, really strong first first half. Uh, Moxon had um, three free kicks in the space of a couple of minutes and that third free kick came in and it was a, a flick by Luke Plange and he went into the back of the net um, to make it 1-0 to Carlisle. Possibly took a deflection off a Lincoln defender, but um, either way, I think Luke Plange has been credited with the goal, so I'll put it down as a Luke Plange goal. And that was 1-0 to Carlisle and really for the rest of the game there wasn't the rest of the first half sorry there wasn't really much in sort of the um in in the game I thought Carlisle looked the better team you could tell Lincoln had the international break last week where Carlisle had came off a tough game against Stevenage um you could you could definitely you could definitely see that there was a difference there. There was a few good saves from Anderson in that first half, but Lincoln didn't really cause us too many problems in the first 45 minutes. And then at halftime, Lincoln made a few changes. Oh, no, actually, sorry. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just on half time, there was a foul on Sean Maguire where the defenders came over. He's put his arm in sort of Sean Maguire's upper chest, chin sort of area. Clear foul. The linesman is looking right at it. The referee's got a good position. It wasn't a foul. I've seen a few people on Twitter saying X, X or Twitter, however you want to call it. They've been saying, oh, it was outside the box, blah, blah, blah. Why wasn't it a free kick then? If the contact was outside the box, it's still a free kick. It was a clear foul. Uh, for me, it was a penalty, not a free kick. But that's, yeah, shocking officiating. Now, I just want to say, I'm not, I'm not using officiating as an excuse. I'm not saying Carlisle United haven't won the game because of officiating. I'm not saying that Carlisle United anything sort of on the lines of that but I would say from what I've seen of the officiating officiating in league one this season is that the league two officiating last year was better than the league one officiating this year I think the officiating has been dreadful this season um and it's not really much of a high remark when I'm saying that because the officiating last year wasn't exactly fantastic. But I thought the officiating last season was better than it was this year. Uh, to clear your file, the linesman's looking straight at it. Um and nothing's being given, but so that was that that was the first half. So moving into the second half then, uh Lincoln made a few changes, made a, a formation change, I think was the most notable one. And they scored really early on. It was in the forty ninth minute, four minutes into the second half. They've um they've came into it and um, they've got a goal from the player was about twenty five yards out. He took he took a he took a shot and he's put it into the bottom corner. Uh, Anderson couldn't do anything about it. Uh, it, it. It's one of them where it's a great finish. It's a really good finish from the lad to put it in the bottom corner. Um, but it's a frustrating one to concede because it it's just out of nothing. You know he's got the ball. He's got the ball twenty odd yards out of the thing and then he's he took a shot and it, it, it's went in you know it's not like a, a build up team goal or anything like that it, it, it's just a long range a long range shot that's went in but a, a great finish from the lad uh, Sean Maguire with a, a great bit of play just a, a few minutes later sort of played the ball into Mox and just sort of coming in on the edge of the box and a great save from their keeper Lucas Jensen of course ex Cal United player and um, a good save from him. And then there wasn't too much really in the game. Um, John Mellish made an absolutely fantastic last-ditch tackle. Uh, their player got uh, around a couple of our players um, in the box. Uh, great footwork from him. Great footwork from him. And a uh, great tackle by John Mellish just to come in behind him and to make that uh, last-ditch tackle. To, to stop probably, I imagine, a... Um, b b 
a shot of goal at least, but probably I would imagine a, a good chance of goal, a good chance of getting a, a, a winner for their man. And then Sam Lavelle had a great chance off. I think it was a corner, it might have been a, a free kick, uh, but cross came in, Sam Lavelle with the header. And um, just over the bar, you maybe would have liked, for the time and space, you maybe would have liked him to um, have had, you know, maybe a bit more on target, but... Good, great effort from Sam Lavelle late on. Uh, Sam Lavelle, actually, my man of the match today. I thought he looked excellent today. I thought he he's really improved. Um, I'm not saying he was bad the first few games, but he started to make that position his own. Uh, I thought Sean Maguire was quality. I thought Luke Plange is really growing into the position. Um, so, all in all, a really good game from Carlisle today. I think a point's good. If you were to get, offered us a point at the start of the game... Would have took it. I actually did say it was going to be one one, so I I, I predicted the game right for probably the first time, um, ever. But um, I'm very happy with the point. So Carla looked very well in that first half. Just a a point that I noticed. We had four shots against Stevenage last week. We had fourteen this week. So we we would definitely create more opportunities. Um, maybe a slight concern is that we're still not scoring from open play. Uh, obviously, Sean Maguire got one last week from open play, and uh, Moxon got the equaliser against Wigan was open play. Off the top of my head, they're the only goals I can think that have came from open play, which might be a little bit concerning. Uh, maybe we need to start, you know, getting a few more from there. But all in all. We've had two very difficult back-to-back away games. Stevenage at the Lamex and Lincoln at Cecil Bank or the Alinea Stadium uh, this week. And we've came away with two points, which is, it's not a bad, it's not a bad return at all. Um, I thought there was a big improvement from this week to last. I thought this week we were much better last week. I didn't think, I wasn't very impressed with the performance, to be honest. But this week, I thought we, we, we looked sharp in that first half, not as much the second half. But I, didn't, I don't think we played bad in the second half at the same time. Um, I just think it was a bit more of a, it was a bit more of um, a better first half from Carlisle United. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, do you think we deserve more than more than the point? Do you think we deserve the win? What were your thoughts on Lincoln? What are your thoughts on Josh Coyote? Um, is what you feel on that? It, it's really annoying one to be honest. It is really annoying, and I imagine Paul Simpson is quite annoyed with it as well. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes you just can't um, you just can't help it. But there you go. Calaride won. Lincoln City won. Um, fantastic away support from the Blues as well. 645 away fans. That is fantastic. Um, as always from Carlisle. Next up for Carlisle, then we play Derby next week at Brunton Park. Uh, that'll be a great game. Derby have obviously saw that there. Away allocation and Carlisle's ticket sales are looking very good. And the waterworks is open. The five minute preview for that game will be live on Wednesday because Derby play Lincoln on Tuesday night. Um, so that'll be interesting to see um, that from a neutral perspective. Um, but yeah, Carlisle Derby is next one. Carlisle Lincoln finished up 1 1 today. What do you guys think? Let me know in them comments down below. I've been C. Wolfall. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, I never miss that stack. Taking big swings to jam to the back. Put me in the wind, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life.